Hello, and welcome to drillingcontractor.org. This is Kelly Ainsworth Robinson at the 2018 IADC and SPE Drilling Conference in Fort Worth. At the conference, Baker Hughes, a GE company, is highlighting its new Chimera Mach 4 bit. I'm here with Shelly Corey, Chimera Product Line Manager, to hear more about the technology. How are you doing today, Shelly? I'm doing great. Thank you for being here. Can you tell us what challenges the Chimera Mach 4 was designed to address? The Chimera Hybrid Drill Bit, the Mach 4 edition, was just recently launched, and it was launched in order to dig beyond the curve. So with our operators today, they're able to drill vertical sections like they haven't before with Chimera Hybrid Drill Bit technology. We're able to drill curved sections like we have in the past, uh, improving ROPs by 20%. We're able to do combinations of vertical curves, improving distances and speeds up to over 300% faster. Chimera Mach 4 is also uh, able to drill laterals in special situations like in soft carbonate. We're drilling over 20,000 feet with one Chimera Mach 4. Chimera Mach 4 is also able to drill tangents where it's hard to reach an inclination, say, of 70 degrees. Uh, we're doing it 40% faster than uh, a conical shaped insert PDC. And this bit has sharp dense inserts on the roller cones. How does this improve the bit's durability and increase the RP that it can deliver? What Chimera Mach 4 has is the inclusion of our Chimera Extreme, our sharp and dense cutting structure. But as well as that, it also has increased blade counts. So with increased blade counts, we're able to put more touch points on the borehole wall. When we're able to do that, we improve borehole quality. And we do that by improvement on lateral stability. In the past, Chimera has always improved uh, drilling vibrations from axial bit bounce that you might see in TCIs. Anytime a PDC may be drilling and it encounters stick slip, that's a form of tor torsional vibration. Uh, Chimera Mach 4 minimizes those vibrations, but again, it takes that lateral stability and it improves it, and it improves it because of the increased blade counts. Another thing Chimera Mach 4 offers is our Dynamus Cutter technology. With that, the cutters are able to have improved wear resistance from a thermal stability. So for abrasive sandstones, we improve drilling in those environments. We also bring together over 10 years worth of engineering experience from hybrid designs. And with our R&D, with our designs, uh, with our, our accumulation of thousands of runs that we have today, we're able to push that envelope, not with just that sharp and dense cutting structure with all the other aspects of Chimera. With the launch of Mach 4, we have expanded. We drill as small as five and seven eight slim hole, all the way up to 26 inch. So now our rock formations that we can drill go from anything from soft drilling, like the carbonates I talked about in long laterals, all the way to medium rock to medium hard rock. We're pushing basalt drilling in India. Uh, we continue to drill through interbedded formations, anything with shell, sandstone, limestone. Anytime you hit a stringer that's chert or pyrite, we're able to drill through it with Chimera Mach 4. And the Chimera Mach 4 is equipped with the new technology, the shadow cut. Can you tell us about the shadow cut and how that can help improve cuttings evacuation? Sure. With Chimera Mach 4, we have the increased blade counts, we have the sharp and dense cutting structure, we have improved modeling from our FEA and from uh, our database collection. But we also have what is the recess cutter which is right here, it's either on the shoulder and or the gauge of the PDC blade. And with our recess cutters, what we call shadow cut, it allows us to increase the diamond volume along the shoulder. Prior chimeras had an issue of maybe doling out on the shoulder and hurting on the heel row of our roller cones. So with the recess cutter, what we call shadow cut, we're able to add the diamond volume in the area that we need improved durability. And with that, we're able to put uh, adjacent to the hill to protect our hill gauge of our roller cone. So that improves durability. And even in Canada with over 30 runs, we've saw an increase in ROP up to 20, 25%. Another thing with shadow cut is this recess of the material. That is what allows the evacuation of the cuttings to be more efficient, and it helps us improve with that minimizing drilling dysfunctions that I talked about earlier. Can you tell us about some of the case studies that have been performed with the Mach 4 and the results that you've seen? The results with Chimera Mach 4 have been outstanding. We had over 120 runs. We just launched a month ago. With that, we have three good case histories to share. As I mentioned earlier, we drill in the vertical application. So if we talk about a vertical well in the Permian, uh, we were able to replace 11 bits with two Chimera Mach 4s. So we saved what was going 10 trips to just one trip. We went from 11 bits to two bits. We replaced PDCs, we replaced Legacy Chimera. 
And with two Chimera Mach 4s, we were able to drill further. We drilled 389% further. So one bit that was in the hole, those 11 bits would drill about 264 feet. The Chimera drilled over 1,200 feet. We also increased ROP with that. So those two bits still averaged an incremental of 78% on ROP. With that, it went from eight feet an hour to over 15.5 feet an hour, increasing the ROP up to 78%. Another case history, uh, vertical curve. We talked about combination drilling with Chimera Mach 4 uh, in Oklahoma and Arcoma. There's a really tough abrasive formation, and there they were struggling uh, with PDCs in the hole to try to do a vertical curve. It drilled 350% faster in a, a formation called the Cromwell, and they went from 20 feet an hour to over 90 feet an hour with Chimera Mach 4, improving it 300% faster in ROP. Another case history can be the long lateral that I talked about. Again, it's that soft carbonate drilling. There was a challenging well in Oman drilling through soft carbonate, and the main goal was precision was key. It had to stay within that reservoir window. If it deviated a conventional bit, as we would call a PDC or a roller cone today, could get damaged and they'd have to pull out a hole. So with the Chimera Mach 4, it did three laterals and one bit. It drilled over 20,000 feet at 150 feet an hour, and it put over 180 hours on that bit. Thank you for joining us today, Shelly, and giving us a look at the Mach 4. Thank you. It was a pleasure. And thank you for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.